Warning, this video features machining. I am not a professional and you must always use proper safety procedures. Also, this is just my prototype project. It may not be perfect and there may be a better way to do it, but this is how I did it. Okay, so I'm starting with something like this and a machine like this. So now it's set up in the lathe and it's ready to start. Now I got a nice and smooth face on the end here. Very flat, nice and polished. Now I'm going to start making more. Alright, so the next step is to use a set of uh, ever-increasing uh, drill bit sizes to make the hole large, larger and larger and uh, close enough to the bore where once I get close enough then I'm going to take it, you know, tenths of an inch at a time. So now after using about five different drill bits and uh, slowing down the speed as I go along, I'm on to the, uh, the final hole. With the, uh, in this case I'm using a 25-30 seconds drill bit which is just a little bit smaller than what uh, this hole needs to be. So and this is going to be a lot slower because I got it on uh, 95, so let me double check that. So it's on low, it's on 2, and it's on this row, that makes it at 95. So now I'm going to set this up and then uh, we'll do the last drill bit hole. Okay, so this has been about 95 RPMs now, uh, a lot slower than the 225 that I started at. And I have the uh, tailstock all set up with the drill bit, and now I'm going to drill the last hole. Okay, so we've now got a nice clean hole now. That's what she said. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to do the uh, board out just a little bit further so I can have an interference fit. Okay, so I got a boring tool. It's brand new and I got a brand new tip. Uh, fresh out of the box and I'm going to set up the height using this special tool. I'm going to set it up off of here, make an adjustment and make sure that it's at the exact center. Uh, that way I can set up the tool and start boring it out. So this is, uh, this is more of the uh, extra counterbore that I'm adding because on the, uh, on the planetary gear set there's this little lip so I have to add a little extra space for that so that's what I'm working on right now but I got this to fit, um, it's a little bit looser than what I wanted, I wanted a somewhat of an interference fit and now it's a little bit of a slip fit but it's close enough because it's just going to get welded on the outside and it's also not really going to be used so it's close enough, but I'm trying to get this as close as possible. And if you take a look on here, you can see that I'm working on this outside bore. Add a little bit more space to it. Okay. Alright, I've uh, finished adding the counter bore. There's actually a second counter bore that I forgot about. The camera can't really focus it, but there's a little bit of a improved area right here that's a little bit larger than this bearing surface so now it's not an interference fit but we're not putting real torque on this anyway so now it fits in here 
that's pretty snug. There's a little bit of play, but this will be welded up and then we'll make it concentric. Okay, so this is sort of what the assembly is going to look like. We've got an input here, which is going to be welded along this area right here to the planet carrier. And then I have a sun gear, this right here, which slides on. As you can see, as I spin this, my gears go the other way. And then there's another input which I've already machined before. This one's actually a better fit because it presses on. But this will be pressed on the other way. So you have this input and then you've got this input as well. So that's it. I'm going to add a little bit of a chamfer now on this edge to help the uh, welding so that way we get a good uh, strong weld to the planet carrier. Okay, so I got this part pressed on now. It sits inside the planet gears. And this sand goes to the planet. All the stuff still needs to be welded, of course. And here's the rest of it. This planet gear actually goes inside this side here. There's a cap that goes on the outside of it. And then here, we've got straight gears. There's a chain that goes around this and goes to this output gear. And then there, we're gonna have a shaft that comes out. That'll be our output. And that's the, uh, that's the planetary transmission. Or at least part of it. The most important.